All right, today we're using Protogon today. Very good looking. I feel like we'll get the first result from this, hopefully. Hopefully I'll get the show Protogon off. Now, I need to quickly get the team ready. I think we bring these five. Uh, Viscarna, I need the something, but not too much. It's not really enough to warrant bringing it right now. We can handle the Mark Hogan, so I think we'll be able Hoganosh is a friend. Snagoop should have been. Snagoop should have been. Snagoop should have been. I think we bring Snagoop over Tata. -ta. I brought Tata -ta for like Luminami. We're like Snagoop using Luminami and Whipple Drift and can handle Mute. Deal off the Mutagon and also can handle Garlash. Phage Knot's the lead. Alright, Phage Knot. I didn't bring my Phage Knot today, but knowing from experience, my Phage Knot kind of bullies other Phage. My Phage Knot is kind of like afraid of Deladrix. And rightfully so. Oh, a wave pearl. Oh, that's cool. Wave pearl. I haven't seen wave pearl phase not ever. Okay, precision bolt, really? I'm not even. I'm running clutch plushy, but you didn't even bring me down to my clutch plushy. Like, if I was boots, I would have just been like, oh god, oh no, wave pearl. But knowing I'm boots, I could survive anyways. Like, I was willing to get outsped by a nimble. A nimble phase now because as we know I run very smart Nello Drinks. You should run very nimble on Clutch Plushy, but I I built my specialty boots are on my health antic right now, so Dello Drinks has to deal with the Clutch Plushy. Whipple Drift switches in. Do I outspeed Whipple Drift? That was it quite a lot. I don't have a super effective move for this. Alright, I'm gonna zip zap. Keep Dello Drinks alive, get some good damage on Whipple Drift there. Would Fair Blast have killed? Honestly, based on the damage, there's a chance it would have killed. I think we go Halvantic here. Save Protagon for later. Don't think we go Protagon yet. Actually, getting with a Whipple Drift is help over Protagon because Metal Blast isn't gonna do much. Oh, oh, you messed up. You messed up big time, bro. You messed up. <laughs> I got boots on the Halvantic. I was just talking about boots Halvantic, and I got the boots on the Halvantic right now. Look at that, Halvantic. Boots Halvantic is so good. I never thought that. Boots have either will be this good. Okay, Phage Knot. Phage Knot can't really do anything to me besides maybe like a high pitched screech. So I'll just gnarly gash. If he flash and flees, that's merely unfortunate. Although he does know my ability now. Okay, he flash and flees. So yeah, unfortunate. I do have to switch next turn, most likely. Unless he brings in the Lumia that I can gnarly gash, which that I doubt. Miss Black Romantic? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, aggressive's good, but it's always pitch black. He sends Garlash in. All right, Garlash is fair. I th I think I can sack Deladrix here. I don't really have a switch into Garlash. Deladrix being the sack is helpful here. And I think after this, we send Protagon out. I could send Snagoop in. Oh, a Wave Shell. We get to waste the Wave Shell. I'm glad I didn't like, switch into Snagoop or Sinoke. All right, now we just go into Protogon, since we know that this isn't Boots, and we get a range attack boost from this, most likely, right? Oh, no. I got a range attack boost from one, but this one gave me a melee attack boost. All right, well, we're just gonna have to hope this kills. Also, I'm very proud of the nickname. This isn't a Pokemon reference, guys. I'll let you guys think of what it is. Paralysis doesn't matter here. Ah, the vicious net damage is probably matters at some point because protagon i can send that in against something it can take a hit all right protagon gets the kill i have not used protagon in a while so this is gonna be interesting here phage not comes out you are you, no no <laughs> you're dead you're dead you can't live a metal blast but i'm not gonna go for metal blast i'm gonna go for energy surge phage not down <laughs> all right so we claim two ko's with the protagon not bad I really should have just sent Snagoop in though, that would have been much better. Hoganosh! Okay, this was the Lumia we were worried about, I'm still worried about it. Deladrix is dead. You know what, Protagon? Your job is to weaken the Hoganosh, so that Deladrix can come in. Not Deladrix. That did nothing. That did nothing. Protagon, come on. Alright, Baneful Bash get, gets me. Oh, wait, no. I was gonna send Zenoga, but I think I'm weak to Fiery Fondant. Even if I'm not, though, which I might not be, I don't want to send Zenoga out right now. If we have to send Zenoga, it's gonna be after the Hoganosh crits Air Drive and one-shots her. Instead, I'm just gonna Jet Stream. This should KO Hoganosh. Hoganosh runs a lot of range defense, though. Yeah. Oh! Well. <laughs> I don't think this is a good range 
rage for blood user because it's slow. Well, Snagoop's dead. Oh, it dies to the recoil. <laughs> right, I forgot that was a recoil move there. Is that the last Lumion? No. All right, there's one more. I'm gonna send Sinogra for this one. Let's see. What is it? How bad? It's their own how bad thing. All right. Let's go for a spite. Primal slash. Okay. If this thing gets an aggressive boost, we could be in trouble. You know what? Halvana can probably live a plus one primal slash. I'm gonna go for the fade away. I doubt it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The whole point. All right, this is 100% aggressive based on him being like pitch black. He's, yep, aggressive. Now we send our Havant again. This is likely a speed tie unless he's very brawny. Because I'm pretty sure this is a blue Havant here. Also, that looks glitchy. Alright, we just have speed. GG. GG, bro. It wasn't really as close as it looked. I think I survived Primal Slash anyways, but still. That was kind of close. Alright, on to our next battle. Protagon did decent. Alright, uh, I'm seeing this. I assume the Rogo is the lead. So I'm gonna lead Deludrix. And then I'm gonna bring Protagon. Protagon. I think for Protagon to win, we're gonna need a weak a lot of things. I should have brought Barb's a Barb user. I should have brought Celestine. Dang it, I didn't bring Celestine today. Magoom comes also, they have their own Protagon. Nice. I bring Halbanding and last I think the last has to be Sinoka, right? I want it to be Fiskarna. I don't think that that's necessary at all. Sinoger or Fiskarna? You know what? I think Fiskarna's better. I think we go Fiskarna. I'm worried about the wrestler. Oh, wrestler's the lead. That is probably okay. I could stay in, but I think switching to this is better. Because Snagoo should be able to take Adaptive Assault. I believe it's a quad resist. I believe Snagoo quad resist Adaptive Assault and Pep Jab. I be I it might two times resist, which would suck. Because I believe I should get to a KO by like a very brawny or something. I don't actually know any calcs. I don't know any calcs at the slightest besides Celestine. Because Celestine I had to like TP train all on my own. And I had to figure out which TPs I want for it. And I'm going with a melee defensive set. With some speed and range attack. Some. Not a lot, but some. This guy's not making his move. He's worried about Deligix right now. Deligix putting on the pressure. Man, he's really just not making his move. Up, up, there's a move. Up. <laughs> okay, it has become 11 a 11 p.m. because I've had things to do. This guy. Now I remember seeing in the chat he said time to sweep, meaning he has a sweeper, and I'm not too sure which one it is. Also, I'm assuming Gargle up the lead, so I'm gonna go. Actually, does this make sense at all? Ah. <laughs> I don't know if this card makes sense as a lead. <laughs> Halvantic has to come this battle. Halvantic just has to come. Sinogur has to come too. Uh, obviously, we bring Protogon. I don't see Protogon doing much this game, actually. <laughs> I think we just go up our usual leads. It's Nagoop the play, though. I guess it depends on whether it's offensive Gargolem. I think we'll go Deladrix lead. Depending on what he leads with, let's see, is it Gargolem? It's not. Okay, I'm assuming that's offensive Gargolem then. So, Tundrola. That's one of, like, the better matchups, I feel. I'm gonna go for Doubt. It will cost me my Clutch Plushie if he has to stay in. But if he switches, I get damage on something. Likely big damage. I don't think he has a good Dao's tank. I believe Dao should hit everything hard. Everything. So let's see. Tundrolan. It does ought to take the Dao's. It will two shot. Oh. Oh. Oh, he bulked up. Okay. Don't know why. Ah, oh, health amulet though. Ah, the health amulet means I can't do it. But I could do this. I can do this. I'm gonna go for Zip Zap and I'm gonna go into Snagoo. This could cause a loss. But I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. We go with Zip Zap here. Yep, I, that should be a Muck Blast range. 
Let me see. Let me just check to see if I have a better tank. Ooh, wait, actually. We could go Sinogre instead. Spectrober should KO. And we're gonna be immune to Body Crash. And if he does go Fire Hammer, alright, we're immune to Body Crash. That's fine. And now, we can kill the Tundra Land without taking any damage. <laughs> I might not KO. I don't have range attack investment. I'm just smart personality. That's it. That's like how that's how I like to run my Lumians. Don't really invest their TPs, but rather just boost their with a personality. I feel like that's helpful. Like I want a little bit more power. Like I always run that on Imperial rather than very nimble. Also, I just didn't have a very nimble Imkin. He actually switches here. Hoganosh. So he sends Hoganosh out. How much does it take? Nothing. <laughs> it took nothing from that. Okay. So Hoganosh is a little annoying. I don't know if I want to stay in against this. I'm going to go for the Fade Away. Sin Ogre is pretty good this battle. I'm going to go for Fade Away. A little more chip. And now we're going to bring in Deladrix. It will mean that the Clutch Plus E does do nothing. But come on. Aqua Body and everything. Sharpen. Okay, we're fine. Never mind. He's this guy just keeps trying to set up on everything. What the heck? All right, you're dead. You're dead. You are dead. This is why we use pivoting moves, guys. Fade away, zip zap, baffles are good. Baffles are great. Ancient roar is amazing. He switches to your soul. This is gonna take a lot of damage. This is gonna take a lot. Now I have a decision to make: jet stream and kill the your soul, or switch out. I'm gonna go for the switch out play. I'm certain that he's gonna go for quick punch. I think Snack Goop is better than Sinogre here. Sinogre is not a bad play, but I'm going to take a lot of damage from Shadow Sprint. If I go Snack Goop, though, I can take Quick Punch and Shadow Sprint, so I should be fine. Yeah, this is not going bad at all. <laughs> the, the only bad thing is I don't, I'm don't. i not using Protagon. I want to go to sleep, but I don't know if I can. I might need to do another battle just so I can get like a good battle for Protagon. Oh, okay. Well, there's a Protagon. Analyze. Melee attack Rose. Thunder Strike's coming my way. I go into the Havantic, which means we've used every team member that isn't our own Protagon. I'm not sending my Protagon in against something that's probably going to use an electric move into my Protagon. That's just not smart. There we go. We can take that. I'm going to go for Thunder Chomp here. Havantic might... Gargolem might switch in. But no, he, he doesn't do that. I get big damage. Man, if I had Thunder Crash, I think I would have killed it. Okay, I can take Energy Surge. This is going to do nothing. Yep, that did about nothing. Eh, it did a decent amount, actually. But, like, not enough to make me worried. I can Thunder Chomp again. Protagon will die. He's probably confused as to why I outsped him. Boots Hall Vantic is so good. Alright, he gives me the kill here. Man, a lot of times I wish I was aggressive. But at the same time, there's been so many times I wish I was Pitch Black. And I am Pitch Black. So, like, Pitch Black or Aggressive? I don't know. I think I'm going to stick with the Pitch Black one because I'm not grinding a new one for Aggressive. It was it was already horrible grinding this thing up just to level, like, 31. I mean, it wasn't horrible, honestly. It wasn't, at least it wasn't Imperial. Oh, my God. That was painful. Imperial was painful to grind. But, hey, I think it was worth it. Imperial is amazing. Didn't bring it today, though. Ah, this is going to go for Muck Buck, I assume. Now, I'm not going to, like, go crazy, assume. I could switch to Deladrix here. You know what? Deladrix should be a fine switch in. I can send Deladrix in, go for Dows, we should be fine. I can't do anything with Protagon until like Hoganosh is sufficiently weakened. To the point where I can kill it. Now, Hoganosh isn't really a problem for the team overall. It's more a problem for Protagon specifically. And I want to use Protagon. He might go for the Baneful Bash. But I have the Plus Plus E. I do have Snack Goop though, so maybe he might go for Fiery Fondant. Dude. Don't do that. That's such a dumb play. Is Yorso still alive? No, I killed Yorso with Snack Goop already. I remember. Jet Stream killed it. <coughs> Your Hoganosh is dead. Man, Deladrix really put in the work this battle. Deladrix did great. The, the team overall did really amazing this battle. Oh, his own Deladrix. Let's see, is this the last Lumion besides Hoganosh? No, there's actually more. Alright. 
Is this time? Is it time to go Protagon? He might go for an electric move. Alright, because he's gonna, he might go for an electric move, Zenogre might be the better option here. Do I go for it? <coughs> you know what? I think it's okay to zip zap here. He goes for Thunder Strike. As long as he doesn't paralyze me, we're fine. It will cost me the Clutch Plus but as long as Deldrix stays alive, we're okay. Zip Zap, KO Dare Deldrix, and you're good. Thanks. You know, I really want to get Protagon in, but him having Hogganosh alive means that Snagoop is the better play. Snagoop and whatever other Lumion he has in the back. I'm weak. Aw, <laughs> oh, don't worry, bro. Tundralan. Ah. I think it ends here. Snagoop gets the clean up here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alright, Hogganosh. And I killed that. I, I didn't use Protogun at all. Alright, we definitely have to do one more battle. Probably show the Hogganosh dying first. He forfeited. Unless he brings the Cinnabu and the Cryo Cub, I should know what his team is. Which. It's honestly a pretty interesting team, but Halvantic just goes all the way in. <laughs> it kills everything besides their own Halvantic. Again, Protagon doesn't seem good at all in this battle. My gosh. You know what? I'm going to leave with Protagon. But I don't care if it dies immediately. I need Protagon to do something. I really thought we'd get better results out of a Protagon video. A Lumion that, I'm not going to lie, is very good. But it's just not been doing... Okay. Okay. This is perfect. I don't care if I get the melee attack boost, which I know I'm gonna get. What? How did I get a range attack boost from this? Alright, I'm not gonna complain. I'm taking it. I'll take the range attack boost. Alright! Maybe Protogon can actually do really good! Badeki should be slower than Protogon. Sea Drake. It might be Boots, but I'm probably fine. Okay. Immediately, I'm satisfied. Even in a matchup where I was sure the Protogon would suck, we actually did something. I should live with Landslide from Baneki too. Maybe Terra Shell might kill me. He does have to go Baneki. This is like the Lumion I was... Okay, well, it's the wrong ability, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's go for Metal Blast here. Let's see, what does Baneki do? Metal Blast. <laughs> oh, Protogon. And... Murder his team. Halvantic. Okay, well, actually, yeah. Actually, yeah, that, that Lumion, that's gonna get me. Energy Surge should be stronger. At this point, it's not worth keeping Protagon alive. I just want to bust holes with it. Oh, okay, I was really hoping that was two shot. Wait, Thunder Crash? Come on, live, live. Ah, if we live, the recoil would have put it in range. Oh, that would have been so cool. All right, all right. At this point, oh, he still has a Kalos, though. Alright, uh, wait, I don't want to send Devil Drinks out. That's, that's, that, that's bad. That's bad if he's, like, n nimble. I don't know if nimble outspeeds me, but I feel like it does. We go for an early gash here. Oh, he switches. Is that Seedrake? Okay, Seedrake's dead. But now he can send in a Kalos. He might not. Wait, he also might send a Kalos in. Let's see. Is a Kalos coming in? <laughs> Protagon! Protagon! Yes! I hope you all enjoyed the video, guys. I did not think Protagon would be able to do it there. Leave a like, everybody. Subscribe. Let me know what you want to see me do in the future. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.